Huh, another boring old day in Minecraft. Gosh dang it, how do I craft a stupid piston again? Ah, oh, I don't freaking remember. How do I craft a piston? Ah, oh, screw you two game. Come on, come on, this has to be- Ah! Oh! Wait, what's this? Hey guys, how's it going? My name is PJX and uh, welcome to the first episode of our Mod Spotlight series. Now, this is just going to be a series where I tell you guys what I think about different mods and what they do. While I can't record PvP or any um, ongoing series, I can do things like this that are really short. So yeah, that'll work out nicely. So the first thing I want to show you about this mod is its interface and how it works. Uh, I'm assuming you guys already know how to install your mod. Like you get Forge Mod Loader and everything. I'll probably make a video on that eventually too. So let's press O and that toggles off in the ass. You don't have to see that interface when you don't need it. And you can press O again and it turns it back on. Here's all your pages of stuff in Minecraft that you can spawn in and stuff. Yep. Just everything. Look, if, uh, if I hover over this and I'm in cheat mode or creative mode, I right click it and I get one. Or I left click it and I get a stack. So that makes it really easy um, you can press R to get the recipe for an item so ex for example it just says smelt a uh, cobblestone with something to get a stone or for that repeater that I showed at the start uh, let's, let's see you see this little search bar here you click this or you can press F to quick get to it see look press F and it'll uh, let you type in it all right so you'll type in piston and you know I didn't know how to make the piston so I will press R on this all right, it's, looks, it's pretty simple, right? It looks really simple. So all I have to do is follow exactly what it tells me, but there's an even easier way. Once you get in the crafting table, then you can type in your what you're looking for as in piston, and um, you can hit R for recipe. Now you see this in the bottom right here, like this little question mark that I'm hovering over? You hold down shift and left click, and it'll assemble it for you in the crafting table. How cool is that? It makes everything so simple. It's nice. I love this mod. I love it so much, and that's why I'm doing the spotlight. Sorting through a chest of crap? I feel your pain. Let's go ahead and let's toggle the search bar on. And uh, it won't work in full screen when you're in this menu of a double chest. But what you can do, uh, say I'm looking for my lever inside the chest. All right, I'll tap in lever. And uh, then I'll double click it and it turns uh, yellow. You see that? That's search mode. So now I get out of that and I look in the chest and it highlights what I'm searching for. If you're not in full screen or you have a regular resolution to monitor, which I don't, this should work fine for you. This should be no problem. So I found my lever easily. It would have been awful to search through that mess of crap. Now say I want to find, oh, uh, let's see, how about a sand? Let's find some sand. Someone just messaged me on Skype. I'm freaking sorry. <laughs> so we found our sand. Yes. It's that simple. It's a really cool mod. All right, guys, now I have to show you all the features of it. But first, I'm going to show you a cool add-on you can bring to this mod to show you the health of creatures and um, the ground. Like, what, what, what block are you staring at and stuff like that. It's a really cool add-on. So, boom, we have Wayla, guys, now. I'll be showing you what Wayla does. So, Wayla is a custom plugin for any eye or not enough items. It is not required to use not enough items, but Code Chicken Core is required. Those two mods are required. Everything you need will be down in the description. I'll have links to all three things, but remember, you do not need Wayla, and it can cause a lot of FPS drops. As you can see, uh, it's not as smooth as it was, so you better have a decent computer. So what Wayla does, when I'm looking at this block, you see it says it's a grass block and it's from Minecraft. Well, if I hovered over any other block, see, it's going to give me a little interface at the top here. Let's go try hovering over this cow and, and these chickens. And I'll show you guys. Look, look. If I hover over this chicken, it shows it's two hearts and chicken. Look, look. They're going down. One and a half hearts, one heart, half a heart, and th zero hearts. See? That's how this works. Uh, yeah. So, Wayla is basically just to make any eye. Uh, a little better and uh, there's some other really cool plugins you can get for Wayla and NEI. I think there's growth indicators of some kind that can go into it. Maybe Wayla defaults that. I'm not really sure. You guys can figure that out for yourself. But if you guys don't know how to st install mods, you should go look up a tutorial for Forge Mod Loader or wait until I make one. So guys, some other cool things about this. Let me just show you. Let me get a bunch of crap in my inventory. Just a bunch of crap. There we go. All right, you see this little delete button here? And uh, these little keys up here, if they're not here, you have to spawn your world in creative. Like, you have to be in creative when you spawn your world and have cheats on for this to be here. I'll show you how to put these here if they're not here already. You see options? Then you'll go into inventory. And then uh, if they're unticked like this, you can just 
left click them simply and right click them to untick them to take them off so I'm just gonna left click everything for the purpose of showing you guys There's a lot of other things down here too like creative plus mode which is cool I'll show that in a second uh, there's the layout style classic in the eye or minecraft uh, yeah it's, it's pretty cool it's pretty in-depth and cool all right so delete mode if I click this and then I click an item in my inventory, it's going to take it out of existence. It's so simple. Or you could take it and drag it and drop it onto the delete, which is, you know, more annoying. So I prefer just to click this and get rid of everything like that. It even works for stacks of items, I'm pretty sure. Let's, let's test it. And, yep, stacks of items get deleted too. So you just click it on and off. Like, you click it to turn it on, do what you need to do, and click it to turn it off. Don't delete something you need. <laughs> turn the rain on. There's some cool little controls here. Like, I'm going to make it dawn. Make it morning. See? It's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and make it rain. Uh, turn the rain off. Oh, wait, you have to right-click to turn the rain off. Yeah, right. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot myself. There's another cool thing called magnet mode. Now, if I click this, if an item is thrown anywhere within a 500 million mile radius of me, watch, watch. I can back away. It's going to suck up, and it's going to come to me. If it's in like a 64 block radius, it is going to come to me. Look, I can try to run away from it. It's going to catch me. No, no. Uh, okay, it works. See, so magnet mode's kind of cheaty in my opinion, but it's fun. You can mess with the time. Here's a heal button. Very cheaty, very newbie. <laughs> yep, very newbie. Yeah, uh, th that's pretty much it for this tutorial, except for one more function that I can tell you, which is uses. If you hover over an item and press a U on it, such as uh, if you didn't know what something was used for in a mod or in Minecraft, yeah, you can get all the uses of that item, such as stone can be used in these following recipes. Uh, repeater, stone bricks, stone slabs, uh, pressure plate, and button. Those are the only recipes in Minecraft that it can be used in at this time without mods. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and let's look at another one just as an example. So the recipe for lapis lazuli block is just for lapis. Uh, how, how do we get, let's see, or we can just... Uh, what the heck was I going to say? Uh, so two ways to get Lapis Lazuli, which if we go hover over it and press R on, of course, is to craft a block or to smelt it in the furnace with anything. Uh, you can press uses on a jungle sapling and it'll just say fuel. This use is fuel and you can smelt anything with it, but it takes two to smelt one thing. Well, guys, that is basically it for this series and if you don't want to get any eye but you still want to see the names of the blocks you won't see the uh the hearts of the animals so you get a world how about tool tips and put this to shown and uh exit out of it like just escape out of it and then if you look down as you can see there's two overlays up there one of them is any eye one of them is Wayla. Uh, if you just have any eye installed then you'll just see the one uh it won't tell you what mod it's from but it will tell you what the block is so, yeah, that's pretty cool. Let me just go ahead and turn that off since I have Wayla on. Yeah, guys, everything is in a link in the description if you want to install this for yourself. Feel free. It's awesome. It's easy. It's simple. And it's not too uh, resource intensive on your computer unless you have a really bad computer, which most of you probably don't. So we don't have to worry about that. So anyways, guys, like and favorite this video if you enjoyed And feel free to recommend any mod in the world. In the bottom, uh, like in the in the comments below, feel free to recommend any mod at all for me to spotlight, and I will be happy to do so if uh, yeah if the mod works for me. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.